Hey guys, so I do want to talk about my best speculation um, that you should pick up. I don't know when this video is going to be posted, but I like this card a lot. He's at $10 right now, maybe $11. I like him a lot for two reasons. A, he's already modern viable. He sees play in modern. So that's definitely a huge plus, and I always say that if he's good in modern, he's good in standard. Now, another issue is when they were doing the block whatever, this card was very good in block. So the last time a Planeswalker was as dominant as Soren was in block, his name was Jace AOT. And Jace AOT, I mean, he was printed in a dual deck and that tanked his price like every other Planeswalker. But there was a point in time he started at like $50, then he went down to $40, then he went down to like $10, and then he went back up to like $30. I know very well his buy list was at twenty dollars because I was buy listing him at Strike Zone Online for twenty bucks or eighteen bucks or sixteen bucks. They have a really weird scale where if you have a ton of them, then they give you twenty bucks for the first few, and then eighteen for the next few, and then sixteen. It makes sense, and I don't mind that at all. But yes, Jace AOT was a amazing speculation for me back in the day. I knew he would be good because of block. Now, is this card going to be good because of block? Yes. This card is also going to be good because of modern, which actually, I should make another video, but Jace AOT is seeing play in modern, which is weird, but also fantastic uh, for people who have a ton of them, which would be me. Um, Soren is seeing play in modern, which makes me very happy. Uh, this particular version of him is seeing play in modern. I do believe he is stronger than the other one and that should send a signal like it should be like wait a second this card is good enough in modern is it good enough in standard yes it's dominated block it is good enough in standard right now he doesn't have a deck right now yeah people are going to say yeah he's kind of in the uh john or not john the junk decks and Stuff like that, but that's not where he belongs. I feel like he belongs in Mardu. But Mardu is so bad right now. Like, no one's playing Mardu, at least in my locals. Uh, I do want to play Mardu, and I feel Mardu is a very strong deck, and I feel like this is the card that will push it. I mean, you play this card, you plus him, and then the creatures you control get plus one, plus O, oh, and gain lifelink, and you had like goblins, and you're going to gain six life, and they're going to deal six damage somehow, and or maybe you keep one back. Um, it's until your next turn so they can block and they can help him survive and then you can use his negative two and make a vampire dude. And it's negative... I don't know, this card is very well made for a token deck. Now, you know, when you look at the token decks, you can look at the, what is it, Secure the Wastelands or something? Secure the Waste, and that's like a huge token generator. Not bad, not bad. This card is very good for tokens. Uh, if there was something like an intangible virtue coming in standard, I'm not saying there is, but if there was, the card would be so playable. It makes a token to protect itself. And then it can give stuff lifelink, which <laughs> honestly is becoming more and more relevant. The card is very good priced at like 10 bucks right now. I like the price on it. I like the price. I love the fact that it has dominated block when we still had block. Uh, whatever it was called. It was like on Magic Online. I forget what it was called. It wasn't called block or something else. And it dominated that format. So after rotation, it should get stronger. And honestly, it sees play in modern. That's all I really need to say about the card. Uh, the card doesn't see play in tier 1 decks, but it does see play in tier 2 decks. And the decks are not bad. Like, the decks need some other cards to help it, like maybe more token generators. But the card itself um, is mod and playable, and that's not common for a card in standard outside of the Fetchlands. Uh, like, Sarkhan, I don't feel like it's going to see any play, either version of him, in modern. And that's okay, because... His price will be based on standard. But when you're looking for speculations, you do want to consider modern playability because what happens if you have a ton of them and you can't get rid of them in time, which happens all the time to me, 
then you are stuck with him and you have to hope that it's a abrupt decay type of scenario where being stuck with them is actually a good scenario and every day the price goes up and up. And I don't have any problems trading for this card right now. I would trade whatever, fetch, I would trade fetch lands into this card. That's how confident, and you guys know I'm very stingy on my fetch lands. Bye guys.